we need to prove the following. We'll begin from the left hand side. On the left hand side, in the numerator, we have 1 plus cotangent of theta plus tangent of theta. We're going to use the fact that the cotangent of theta is the ratio of the sine to that of the sine function. So that means cotangent of theta is cosine over sine theta. And tangent of theta, that's the ratio of the sine over cosine. So that means we have sine theta divided by cosine theta. We'll use these values here. So we have 1 plus cosine theta divided by sine theta in place of cotangent of theta. And then in place of tangent of theta, we have sine theta divided by cosine theta. Whole multiplied to, let's keep this untouched. We have sine theta minus cosine theta. Whole divided by, now in the denominator, we have secant cube theta minus cosecant cube theta. Our secant function, that is the reciprocal of the cosine function. So that means secant of theta is one of the cosine theta. And cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of the sine function. So we have one over sine theta. Now uh, we have secant cubed theta. So that means it will give us one over cosine cubed theta minus one over sine cubed theta. Right. Now let's work with the numerator. We're going to uh, combine the three terms. So we have the common denominator of sine theta times cosine theta. So 1 multiplied to the denominator will be sine theta times cosine theta giving us the first term. Then the next term will be cosine squared theta and the third term will be sine squared theta. Whole multiplied to sine theta minus cosine theta. Now we'll combine the two terms in the denominator as well. So here we are going to have sine cubed theta minus cosine cubed theta divided by sine cubed theta times cosine cubed theta. Fine. Now, in the numerator, we will have sine theta times cosine theta plus. So here we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. This is a standard trig identity with a value equals to 1. So we have sine theta plus cosine theta plus 1 whole divided by sine theta times cosine theta. This will get multiplied to sine theta minus cosine theta. Whole divided by, so here now we have sine cubed theta minus cosine cubed theta. If we use the identity a cubed minus b cubed, so that is the product of a minus b times a squared plus b squared plus a b. So in that case, we're going to consider a to be sine theta and b to be cosine theta. So that means using this, a cubed minus b cubed, uh, so sine cubed theta minus cosine cubed theta, that is going to become sine theta, which is a minus b, that's cosine theta. Whole multiplied to a squared, so a squared will be sine squared theta plus b squared, b squared will be cosine squared theta plus a times b, so sine theta times cosine theta. We have all divided by sine cube theta times cosine cube theta, so we'll multiply it with the numerator. In the numerator, we have sine cube theta times cosine cubed theta. Fine. Now, uh, we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, that's equals to 1. So we can write down everything. So in the numerator, we have sine theta times cosine theta plus 1 whole divided by sine theta multiplied to cosine theta. So this is multiplied to sine theta minus cosine theta multiplied to sine cubed theta times cosine cubed theta. All divided by sine theta minus cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta times cosine theta. So here, sine theta times cosine theta plus 1. So we can cancel out this particular expression with that 1 in the denominator. Sine theta minus cosine theta will also get factored out. So 1 sine theta cosine theta and we'll have sine squared theta cosine squared theta in the numerator, which is the expression on the right hand side. Hence, we have successfully shown that, hence we have successfully shown that the left hand side of a given trigonometric expression is equals to sine squared theta times cosine squared theta. Hence, proved.